This is the new Clark International Airport, and it is acknowledged as Asia's next premier gateway for its outstanding Filipino design. But it doesn't stop there, as it also serves as the one that will help transform Clark into the next economic center of the Philippines. Beyond that, it is also known as the fastest growing airport in the country. The development of the new Clark International Airport into one of the country's premier international gateway is about to finish, as the Department of Transportation announced that its new passenger terminal building is 99.8% complete. This new building will increase the current 4.2 million annual passenger capacity to 12.2 million passengers. The project is being undertaken by Megawide Construction Joint Venture and being monitored by the Department of Transportation and the Basis Conversion and Development Authority. A total of 10 billion pesos was allotted for the facility alone, and another 6 billion pesos will be invested by the Luzon International Premier Airport Development Corporation for the equipment and fit-out under a 25-year concession. The design of the new passenger terminal was inspired by the local cultural identity and surrounding beautiful mountainscape of central Luzon. In fact, the airport terminal's distinct silhouette echoes the undulating Zambales mountain ranges and the majestic Mount Ariat in Pampanga, Budgie plus Royal Architecture plus Designs, one of the firms tapped by Megawide to collaborate in the design of the infrastructure, had set out to capture and translate the Filipino spirit in the new passenger terminal, introducing to the world of Philippines' distinct and progressive identity. Vernacular elements are amplified, like the frames of the pearls or Christmas lanterns, which are evident in the ceiling, and the cupies windows that are interpreted as skylights that gen Presidential Advisor for Flagship Programs and Projects Secretary and Basis Conversion and Development Authority President Vince Dizon said that the government employed 7,000 workers just for the construction of the new terminal alone. Once it becomes operational, at least 2,000 minimum direct jobs will be generated. However, the big impact is on the indirect employment effects of the airport. Because of this new terminal, it is expected that more investors and locators will put up business within Clark, which will generate additional jobs. Simultaneous to these projects will be the commitment for on and off airport commercial development, which includes hotels, business offices and convention centers, parking bays, shopping malls, cultural and entertainment attractions, factories, research and development facilities and air cargo, logistics and service industries. This project is one of the key projects under the Build 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 program, and the development of this project would also help ease air traffic congestion at the Ninoy Aquino International Airport. It is envisioned to be the keystone in spurring economic progress and development in central Luzon. Once completed, the new PTB will boost the operational capacity of the airport and will triple its passenger volume. Despite some setbacks brought by the coronavirus disease pandemic, it is said that the project was being rolled out at an accelerated pace. The Department of Transportation also stated that stringent health and safety measures were put in place when work resumed. Anyway, what can you say about the new passenger terminal building of Clark International Airport? Share with us your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to give this video a like and follow us for more amazing videos. Thanks for watching.